This comes from the Jerusalem Post, and it says, No ceasefire as IDF pounds Gaza all evening. Reported ceasefire between Israel and Hamas did not go into effect Monday night as the new barrage of rockets hit the, you know, the south there. And um, Barry, it doesn't look like there will ever be in my eyes any peace until um that region rids themselves of Hamas or any other um crazy regime that's there who are who are trying to uh kill them i mean uh, there's no other way except to rid these people from that land rid them from that region that uh, that's the only way what, what do you think imagine if if we were living next to each other and you'd go to work in the morning, hey, Barry, and I'd say, hey, screw you, Jermaine, I'm going to kill you and all your family while you're at work. And you get in the car going, I wonder if that guy's serious. And then the next day it happened and three days after that it happened and then I would throw rocks at your house with death threats on the rocks and you'd be away from home and I'd set your house on fire. After a while, no matter how saintly you are, no matter how much you want to turn the other cheek, you're thinking, I think this Barry guy wants to kill me, right? Well, that's been going on since Hamas took over the Gaza Strip. Their charter, their binding document that everybody swears allegiance to, Germain, calls for the elimination and destruction of the state of Israel and everybody in it. That's how they operate. So even a truce means nothing. A ceasefire means nothing. They will not quit ever until they are removed. However, that has to happen. Because these are people that don't believe in elections. They had one. They won. They killed all of the opposition that they could find. Anyone who demonstrates against them gets imprisoned, tortured, and or killed. They round up people every week, torture and kill them in public, shoot them on video and put it up on YouTube so they have a full ironclad control over their people. And Jermaine, they can't make peace because their own people will kill them because that's all part of their religious and political dogma. At some point, I don't know what that point is, I'm an American, I'm not over there. But the Israeli government and the Israeli army are gonna say, enough's enough. You've been telling us every week for 12 years you're gonna kill us. We believe you. You've been killing us and now there's going to be a consequence. And here it comes, we're opening the fence, we're sending in the tanks. And you know what's gonna happen? The world is going to be outraged, Jermaine, because Israel is having military action taken against poor peasants who only have rifles, grenades, and short-range rockets. I, I'm telling you. And then the UN will demand that Israel leave them alone. And I hope Israel just takes the phone off the hook <laughs> and doesn't take any calls until they eliminate all the people who are murdering Israeli Jews. Yeah. I, I mean, and you, it's got to it's got to come to that. It has to. It has to. At the end of the day, I mean, that's what it comes down to. Because if they don't, it's their life. And I don't think a lot of people in this country really understand the terror that Israelis are living every day, dealing when with you a, drive, a when crazy you, regime like that. If you when, if you drive down the street and stroll like I did, and I, it was in one of my videos, I remember. I was looking up at the apartment buildings and the playgrounds, and it looks like every building is pockmarked, you know, where chunks of the stucco or the limestone have been blown apart. And I don't mean like three or four, I mean hundreds of those. Those are, those are rocket strikes where the rocket explodes and the shrapnel goes everywhere because the shrapnel is intended to shred any body that gets hit by it. I mean, if it can shred the walls of cement buildings and blow out every window within a block, imagine what it would do to a human body. Well, hundreds of rockets have fallen on Starot. 
And if people have machine guns at the fence and shoot up in the air towards the road, the bullets hit the buildings, Jermaine. I mean, get what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what they live under. I can't believe these people live under those conditions. It sounds insane when we're talking about it. Imagine if it was happening to Minneapolis or Seattle from Canada or San Diego from Tijuana. You know what I mean? The U.S. Army would go in there and flatten. They would every, annihilate them. Of, and they should. Mm-hmm. Their job as the military is to protect the sovereignty and safety of our citizenry. The only country that puts up with it because of the pressure is Israel. And after Tuesday, mark my words, that will change. 